feel like this team, myself and the coaching staff, is uh, excited to be in Spokane um, and excited to play our first game in March Madness. You know, uh, it's every kid's dream to play in this game, in this atmosphere. Um, but we're excited to play Yale and ready to get to it. Jalen? Yeah, um, you know, this is my first time being out here. So I wanted to go somewhere I didn't, I've never been in my life. So this is the place I wanted to be, um, especially with this group of teammates and coaching staff. And um, leading into the tournament after the SEC tournament, winning that and like coming into here with confidence was a big key to being here. Denver? Man, I'm just excited to be in this position I'm in. Uh, I'll be. My bad. I always dream of being here uh, in March Madness. Uh, this is my first time actually being here and actually being in Washington, in Spokane, Washington. And I'm just really excited to play and get, get to the first round. Questions for the Auburn Tigers? Uh, Julian Mitchell, WVTM 13 in Birmingham. I think, Jalen, you said it there. This team is coming off an incredible week weekend, playing three great games in the SEC tournament. What is the confidence level right now, and how do you all feel after winning that SEC tournament, having some days off, and now getting here in Spokane? Um, to be honest, it, it hasn't really felt like we had any days off <laughs> since, like, the postseason started. But, um, you know, having a day off the – day of Selection Sunday was basically like I traveled back to Auburn and getting a field back and then we're back to practicing again. So we always are prepared at the best of our abilities. Our coaching staff get us to that point to where um, like they give us the answers to the test and we just got to take advantage of it. Tim Booth from the AP. Uh, this is for any of you guys. You guys lost uh, two straight at midseason at that, on the road, and then I think you guys have lost once since then. Maybe what what changed for you guys in SEC play that's allowed you to play as well as you have over these last six weeks? Denver, let's start with you, and then we'll work our way this way. Can you repeat the question? <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Why have you guys played as well as you have over the last six weeks? Uh, honestly, uh, really just listen to the, the great game plan that our coaches uh, have put in play. Um, thanks to our scout team as well. Uh, they prepared us great for the teams that we play uh, in the SEC. So uh, I'll probably say kudos to our coaches and our scout team. Jalen? I would say for me and like my teammates, we're, like, we're older on the team, so we understand the whole process. So like six weeks ago, like, BP would tell us, like, this is it. Like, this is our team. So, like, we got to go out there and give it our all. And I feel like that hit us. And that just made us more locked in with the scout and the things we eat, like, the, when we go to sleep and those things that really helped us throughout the rest of the last six weeks. Janai? Uh, six weeks ago, um, you know, we was eight in the country, I think, before we went and lost those two games in a row. So, uh, I feel like um, losing those two was a wake-up call, you know, because uh, this team is very special. And um, we could have won both those games easily. Um, and we knew that, so we, you know, we just got to limit and tweak a couple of things, and uh, we can go a long way. And uh, since then, we kind of turned it around. How you doing? Uh, Michael Bessie with the Black Lens here in Spokane, Washington. Um, Spokane is a is a, um, a a space a city that has a little diversity, but um, it's growing. From a from young black males' perspective, what would you say to some other young black males who are trying to just work hard at getting to this next level of playing? Uh, what would you encourage them or say to them to do? I'll start. Off. So um, you know, me growing up in a small town, like there wasn't really much there. So like. I didn't know that growing up there because I mean like that was the norm for me so like I just love playing basketball so if you keep playing and you keep enjoying the things you do the right things God is going to bless you so like I ended up doing the right things going to Atlanta driving four and a half hours and like it's just the you got to make sacrifices if you want to be who you want to be in life so that's all I have to say. Janai do you have thoughts? 
Uh, oh, kind of like what uh, Jalen said. You know, uh, life's about sacrifices and um, choices in life. You know, um, so at a at a young age, you know, if you can make the choices and, st- and getting in the gym or doing whatever you love, if you playing football, you know, getting in the field and uh, just working on your craft, uh, rather than you know going out partying. You know, I'm pretty sure everybody. Uh, all of us would have liked to have a little more fun growing up as, uh, you know, like our friends would do. But like Jalen said, sacrifices is necessary. Denver, do you have anything to add? I agree with Jalen. Uh, you have to enjoy doing what you're doing. Uh, you got to keep working hard at it uh, no matter what the outcome is. Uh, I know for me, I had to make a lot of sacrifices. Uh, and for me, that was uh, going up to Memphis and playing prep school up there. So... If I was them, I'd just say you had to make a lot of sacrifices in order to get where you want to get to. More questions for these three. Nick Gibson, Spokesman Review. This is for any of you. What was your reaction to finding out three Alabama schools were all sent up here to Spokane? Uh, I was kind of surprised. Jalen? Um, for me, you know, I just kind of focus on, like, our team. But, I mean, it is special for, like, the state in general because, you know, you got a lot of fans that are Auburn fans, Alabama fans, and people that went to UAB and it's just fans of all three. So, like, I mean, it's really special to have all three of these teams in the tournament. And then <coughs> we're just going to see who advances the longest. Denver? Uh, for me, I was a little shocked. Uh, seeing all three of us on the same side, but like Jay Will said, it is special seeing three Alabama teams here on the same side, and uh, most likely they probably gonna be fans of all three of us. So fans to come watch us play anytime. So I feel like it was kind of a blessing too at the same time having three teams from Alabama here in Spokane. Uh, 